guys, it's Jody. Today's video, I've got something just a little bit different in mind. Just a little bit. <laughs> I want to do a uh, floating bloom, multiple floating blooms together. <laughs> if you see where I'm going with this. Uh, I was inspired by an artist friend of mine, Magdalena. She does the most beautiful uh, multi blooms imaginable. And I was like, you know what? I want to try and float multi floating bloom, multi bloom floating bloom. I don't really have a name for it, but uh, I was inspired by my floating blooms where I do the background. But I want to I want to have more than one bloom. So we're going to give this a try and see how it turns out. So that's what we're going to do today. So let's go get started. All right, we are going to go through the colors, the select bader, the pillow per usual. I have got three uh new this little piggy pigments that just came out that i'm gonna be working with today so i'm going to show you those in the container everything else i've been kind of putting next to as i'm showing you the consistency so i will follow that but i wanted to show you the piggies and what they looked like in the jar so we'll start with the first one this one is called bellini see that there and that's kind of what it looks like in the container it's kind of a, a peachy gold and it, it leans more heavily on the gold side than it does, whoops, uh, than it does peach, but it does kind of have a peach undertone. And this one I have mixed with my Dutch Boy Josonia Pouring Medium Mix. I've got two uh, pouring mediums that I'm using. Uh, my Dutch Boy for this one, and then I'll call out the uh, others as well. And then my next color is a tube paint, which is, this is just straight up Joe Sonia Black Umber. And you'll see the container next to this as I'm showing you the consistency. There's that one. And, and my next piggy I have is called Deja Vu. And this is what it looks like in the container. This does glow under black light. Uh, I, <laughs> I turned it on because I wasn't sure. I wanted to make sure. And I have uh, Hustle here. And then I don't have a full big version of the funk. But I kind of wanted to show you how it kind of fit in with the other, uh, the disco line, the, the ones that glowed under a black light. So this is a bit more... Mm, it's got a bit more magenta to it, but it's kind of like a purpley pink. <laughs> That's the only way I can describe it. Uh, at any rate, I've got this one mixed with my Joe Sonia uh, Dutch Boy Pouring Medium Mix as well. There's that consistency. And then my next color I've got is another tube paint. This is Joe Sonia's Aqua. You'll see the tube on the screen but here's the consistency for that this is also my valspar verithane pouring medium mix all my tubes are mixed with the valspar verithane and then all my pigments are mixed with the dutch boy joe sonia and i've had people ask me why do you use two different ones you don't have to it's personal preference i have mixed all of my uh paints and pigments with the valspar verithane and it works great uh, I just find my Dutch Boy Joe Sonia, and Dutch Boy is something you get here in the Midwest, uh, Midwestern states. You can substitute for the Bear 8300 or, you know, something else. It's just thicker. So, uh, you know, with pigments, you want a bit more substance. Uh, I was finding with the Verithane, it gets a little bit thinner. So that's why I use the two. And they are compatible. Some aren't compatible together. So keep that in mind if you're wanting to try that. But this last piggy that I have here... This, this one is called Violet Rain, and there's what it kind of looks like in the container, and it's just a beautiful dark purple. Reminds me of a song. <laughs> there's that consistency. Again, this is Dutch Boy Joe Sonia. Okay. My last color, I've got uh, a tube paint. This is Joe Sonia's Brilliant Magenta. So I actually have Joe Sonia paints in this little piggy pigments. Didn't even plan it that way. <laughs> it was just, I was looking at the colors. But anyway, here's that consistency. So now for my cell activators, I have two. I've got two cell activators, and they're both mixed uh, with my Australian Floetrol at four to one, four parts Australian Floetrol, one part paint. My one part paint for the white. I've got a little bit left of my Atelier Interactive Titanium White. I'm scraping the bottom here, but 
for, for what we're going to do today, that's all I really need. And then my gold, uh, which if you've been watching my channel, you know I like to mix two golds together. It's personal preference. Uh, the one part paint here is about a half a part of the Atelier Interactive Pale Gold mixed with the PBO Studio Acrylics Precious Gold. And all those pictures are going to be somewhere on the screen here it's personal preference i just like how the gold looks uh, i didn't like either one of them separately so i mixed them together <laughs> that's what i tend to do if i don't like something i will mix it until i find something i like so now my pillow i've got a full container of my glidden premium uh, in satin let's give this a little a little mix it's kind of separating ever so slightly and then, and then that'll happen when your paints are sitting around they will start to separate and you just need to incorporate it but i just wanted to show you the consistency of my pillow so there's that that is what we're going to be using today so now let's go over to the canvas and i will explain what we're going to do today all right i have got a 16 by 16 gallery wrapped canvas that i've taped up on the back here and I do want to do a floating bloom here. Uh, the background, we're going to do straight swipes. And the reason we're going to do straight swipes is because I want to do off-center blooms. I said blooms. <laughs> I want to try. I don't do very many of them, the uh, uh, multi-blooms. I, I, so my idea here is I kind of want to go off-center and kind of put one bloom here and then maybe one here and one here or kind of stagger it a little bit because I want it to kind of be on this side and then we'll have the background kind of showing over here. But uh, variations of, of the three blooms kind of over here. That's the idea in my head. We know how this works <laughs> with fluid art, but uh, that's what I'm gonna go for today. So I'm gonna get this flooded and we'll get started painting. All right, I've got this all flooded. I'm gonna use this tool to put the background down. We're gonna use the gold cell activator and I will show you how I have it layered here, but I'm just gonna kind of go back and forth till I get most of this filled and then we'll bring this over to the bench and then we'll do our uh, multiple blooms on here. Like so, I just have a thin layer of the gold cell activator on here and I'm just gonna start right up here. All right, I really like how this is filling in. And I mean, it's gonna stretch out. I think I want this side as kind of more of the negative space with just the background. And then this side is gonna be kind of the bloom. So I'm gonna bring this over to the bench now and we're gonna bloom on it and then we'll bring it back to spin it out. All right, I'm, tr I'm trying to decide, I wanna do three and I think I wanna do Normally I just do one in the center here. I'm gonna do one here, and then I want the other two kind of out a little bit more. So I think I might go here and then here. So I'm gonna pile on, I'm gonna put all the colors down first, and then I'll blow out each of the blooms separately. So I'm gonna start with the Bellini. And let's go right. I've got a lot of colors, so. All right, and then we're going to do the black umber. Have 
with deja vu. Violet Rain. And then this is the Brilliant Magenta that we're going to end with. start with this one and we're going to use the white cell activator only on all of these since we've got so much gold here and that Bellini is um has a gold cast to it as well all right let's do this one here this should be interesting trying not to get paint anywhere oh yeah I need to move this out okay all right get a lot here I couldn't reach it all right now we're gonna do this one This is definitely a challenge. <laughs> Blowing them out. But I am up for the challenge. All right, now we're gonna do this last one here. Now those two fill in and we'll modify them and then we'll spin it out. Really nice cell action. I'm gonna let all this collect in and I'm gonna meet you back over at the spinner box and we're gonna modify these three. All right, that's filling in nicely. I wanna start modifying this. I need to be mindful that this is gonna be more negative space with the background and then I want it to go off a little bit more over here. So let's do this.
pretty happy with this overall. I'm excited to see how this spins out. I want to try to get this over a bit more, uh, kind of at least touching the edge. I'd like some of it to go over and more of the negative space over here, but we'll see. All right, let's see here. Our paint is... I am going to give it a good spin before I start guiding it, and I might move the canvas over this way. Actually, you know, I'm going to put a little pillow just right here. All right, let's do this. Yes, yes, yes. This back in. Okay. I'm going to guide this just a little bit this way. I don't want to try and squish the blooms too much. Actually, that's kind of what's happening. Oops, my big head got in the way. <laughs> All right. Go back this way. I don't want to squish it too much. All right. Go down here. this up more. This can open up a bit more. Mm. Oh yeah. Just a little bit. Okay. Ooh, it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. I'm getting some warped cells over here, but as we're moving the paint around, it's that's what tend to happen tends to happen when I do multiple blooms. I have not yet perfected that art, <laughs> but I'm digging this so far. But I want I want it to come down now just a little this way.
I think I'm happy with this. I've been, I, this, this is being stretched a little too thin. I've got some flocculation that's happening and that'll happen if you stretch your paints and your pigments a bit too much. And I'm not a hundred percent happy with this, but I want to see how it dries and I can always kind of add acrylic marker accents in here. Cause I love the layout and I love how I get the, uh, uh, negative space there with the background but some of these blooms are driving me crazy but I don't want to scrape it I want to let it dry so I'm not saying this is a winner winner chicken dinner yet but I may <laughs> I'm gonna get cleaned up and I will bring you over the flyover of this guy my first official attempt of a multi-bloom on a bigger scale <laughs> It went okay and it didn't. <laughs> I, I really like the background. I like some of the blooms, some of it, not so much, but we're gonna keep it. I wanna see how it dries and I already have some ideas to use an acrylic, uh, like a gold acrylic paint pen to jazz it up a little bit, but uh, it does have some really nice shimmers from those piggies and you can see kind of the background there. My cells got warped in here, which is gonna happen <laughs> when you have more than one bloom. <laughs> You're trying to get all three perfect. I need to work on this. That is my mission. So I will try this again. I do love how uh, my my white cell activator was thinner. So I did get kind of like the lightning effect, which is so awesome. You can kind of see the shimmers in there as well. And then this third one here, the lightning effect is cool. A little bit of wiggle, but that's gonna happen when you're trying to move stuff around on three different blooms. But overall, you know what? It, I'm not gonna deem it a fail. Not too shabby. I will be back once this is dried to show you the dried results. And I'm back to show you the dried piece. I don't have it here yet, but I am gonna show you. But I did wanna say, because you, you, I don't know if you heard it in my voice, I was kinda like, oh, I don't know about this piece. I wasn't quite sure I loved some parts. I I didn't like some some parts, but I let it dry and this is a lesson learned for me and I always say this all the time. Sometimes just let it dry. You may come back later and absolutely love it and that's what happened here is I wasn't sure, I let it dry and now I absolutely love it. So without further ado, let's check out the dried piece. All right, here it is all dry. I love it. I, I This is my favorite orientation. We'll check out a couple of other orientations, but I absolutely love it despite the flaws and all <laughs> i love how the colors blended and i love this background just kind of the the negative space with just the background and then all the blooms over here i did have issues with wiggles but you know what i'm not mad about it as it dried it dried a little bit darker i may still embellish some of these with just kind of enhancing it with a gold marker around some of these i think that'll just be really neat but this in here Oh, whoops. All those cells are just gorgeous. And the same with this one here too. The lightning kind of stayed. It dried basically how you saw it wet. So I'm definitely not mad about this piece anymore. I want to show you some of the shimmers in here. Definitely some nice subtle shimmers, both in the background and in the blooms. You can see that beautiful violet, that violet rain in there, the Bellini. Uh, and then that deja vu that there's no shimmer in the deja vu, but it's got a really pretty, pretty color to it. Oh, I love this piece. I think I might be obsessed with multi bloom floating blooms. Now I'm, <laughs> this may be my new obsession, <laughs> but there's how it dried. Uh, let's check out some orientations now. I like it this way as well as on the left side with the negative space up on the top let's let's check out the others mm, i don't love this way but not bad i'm still partial to it the other way mm, my least favorite <laughs> my least favorite i'm gonna flip you around now for my final thoughts on this piece definitely my favorite orientation is the first one with this piece i'm so glad i didn't scrape it and you know i'm continual continuously learning this lesson to walk away come back later Let's see what, what happens. So I would love to hear your thoughts on this piece. Uh, wh what did you think of the orientation? What's your favorite orientation? 
Uh, did you like the multi bloom? I'm definitely going to give this a try again and maybe again and again. <laughs> I feel like I, I, I need to work on it, but I want to perfect it a little bit more as well. So with that, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.